Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be not too different, but just a little. Um, I'm doing a makeup look, and I might show you guys my outfit as well. I'm not really sure yet, but I just wanted to get some details or show you the unboxing of this Deca Scarlet palette. Um, this is the edition zero, and it's the collab with Sandra Deluxe. So I just wanted to show you that. I'm going to tell you some more information as we go through the video and stuff like that, but I just wanted to show you guys the unboxing. So it just looks like this. Um, really sleek. I like it. And then once you open it, it's actually supposed to be this black foam piece right here for protection. And then you get the information. I want to see if it focuses. So then you get an information card and it gives you a little bit of in information about Sandra Deluxe. I do follow her on YouTube. I do watch her makeup looks. I like that she does a lot of things with her hands so you really don't need brushes. So I think that's really cool and I do watch her channel so I think she's really sleek. So then you also get this one right here and it's just more information and then this one. I think this one is the cutest one. So it says the Quana. So excited to send you our new January, February palette. We can't wait to see your looks. And then it says enjoy and it's from Kate. So I thought that was really cute. I love any I love anything like included that has like a personal touch and I definitely think that is a personal touch. So this is the actual palette and this is a pencil down here. And it's it's really snug in there. <laughs> um, this is how the palette looks, and it gets it has the ingredients on the back. It is cruelty and paraben free, so that is a plus. So this is might be the front, might be the back, <laughs> but it looks like that right here, and then on the back it just looks like that. So it's really sleek, and I do like it. So if you open this part up. You have what looks like two lip shades. So that's that. And then if you open, no, my little clear sheet fell off. Okay, so I think I was wrong. I think this one was just the eyeliner. And then on the inside, you have the lip liner. So that's cool. So you have a really good mirror as you can see. You can see directly into my viewfinder. And then you have some eyeshadows and you have some cheek colors. So yeah, I can't wait to use this. And it actually matches the look that I'm going for tonight because I'm wearing like a peachy duster, some olive boots, and um, maybe a white dress or a tan dress. I haven't decided. So I'm going to go ahead and do some of my face and then I'll come back because I don't need the video to be long and drawn out. But I just wanted to show you guys the palette so I'll be back I also just wanted to go over the shades really quickly so I'm gonna I don't want to mess up the palette it's like too cute all right so right here we have um, the cream lip color and scrunches it's valued at $14 and then we have the cream color and woo it's valued at $14 and then right here we have an eyeshadow, the name is Maya, the value is $16. This one right here, the name is A, like E-H, eh. <laughs> That's what I think when I see an E-H, but it's valued $16 as well. And then the one next to it is called Black Roses, it's valued at $16. And then if I'm looking the right way, okay, right here, I think I'm doing this, okay, yeah. So then we have the cheek color and it's Montego Bay and its value is $20. Then you have a highlighter right next to it and its name is Shimmy Ya yeah, or Shimmy Ya yeah. <laughs> um, and the value is $20. And then, sorry guys, this is the lip liner and I think this is the eyeliner and this is Anarchy and the value is $17 and this is the lip liner and the name is Heartless and the value is $17. So basically this is a $150 value palette and you get it for $29.95 and again I'll go over further details in the end and I have it upside down y'all didn't even tell me but yeah there we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and get into the look. 
Okay, so this is the first eye, and I absolutely love, love, love how it came out. So let's go ahead and go ahead into. I <laughs> said, so let's go ahead and go ahead into. <laughs> let's go ahead and do this eye and lips, and then dust all this off our face, highlight, and add a cheek color, and see where this look goes. I'm really excited. So firstly, I'm just gonna prime my eye using my regular old um, black radiance liner. Oh, I said liner primer. I just put it right on my eye, like my lash. I'm just going to set that with the leftover Laura Mercier um, powder that I had on my sponge. So my next step was to go in with the A shadow, which is this burgundy right here. Another thing I like about this palette is that it has this beautiful mirror on it, unlike most high-end palettes. Like, I don't understand why they don't put a mirror, but this is not a rant, so let's go ahead and do the eye. So we're just going to put that shade all over the crease, the lid, everywhere. And I'm going to take this blending brush by e.l.f. and use a little bit more of the shade and just blend it out. So I'm going to go into the crease. My pencil fell out. Alright, so we're going to go into the crease with, well, not even the crease, just really the corner and a little bit into the crease with black roses right here. And I'm just going to take like this small, I think it's a lip brush, but it's a small brush. And it just looks like that. So I'm going to go in and create like a V. It's rare that you find a really good black and this is a really good black. So then I'm just going to take this e.l.f. Crease, crease, crease brush and go ahead and blend it out a little bit more. So then I'm going to take Maya and I'm going to put her directly on the lid just to, I guess, it's almost the same shade as A or A. I don't know how to say it. E-H, but it's almost the same burgundy shade, but it just has shimmer in it. Now, I usually um, do my eyes before I do my face, but um, I decided to go ahead and do my face first, and I left the powder here to catch any fallout. And what's good is that this eyeshadow really had no fallout, except for I just used Maya, and I had a little bit too much on the brush, so a little did fall out, but... Other than that, I have no fallout over here on this side, not even the black, so that's a good thing. So I'm going to take this brush right here, and I'm going to go in with the highlighter shade from the palette, and I'm going to use that to highlight my brow bone and my inner tear duct. So I'm going to go back in with A, eh, <laughs> and go ahead and blend out some more, because it's looking a bit patchy. Then I'm going to take that smoky black color, which is Black Roses, and go in on the bottom lash line and just connect the dots, basically, like connect it to that corner that we did up there. Then I'm going to take A eh, and put it in the middle. And then I'm going to take Maya and put her in the front the eyeliner and go ahead and it is retractable so I like that Now, I'm kind of a fan of liquid liner and not really the pencil when it comes to my eyes, but this one actually works out pretty well. Now, I'm going to go ahead while we're at it and go ahead and do the pot bottom. So, now I'm going to take the cheek color on my brush, my blush brush, and warm up my face because it's kind of warm. It just looks like my, um... 
my face powder actually. So I'm going to take that highlighter and I'm finally excited to see how this is going to work. Oh, okay. Did y'all see it? Okay. Don't worry about my lips. So we're going to fix that. Just going to take my oval brush and apply it to my cheeks. But I love this highlighter. I'm loving that highlight. So now I'm going to do my lips. And I'm not, I wasn't sure what color I wanted to do. I'm super impressed with the highlighter. I'm definitely getting Sandra Deluxe vibes because her highlight is always on fleek. So I'm going to take the Heartless Lip Liner and it's actually brown. I, I don't know why I thought it would be black, but it's brown. So I'm excited about that. It's so creamy. So I'm going to go ahead and do the burgundy. And I'm just going to take this brush. I'm not usually, oh, snapper. <laughs> I'm not usually a fan of, you know, um, palette uh, lipsticks. But um, we're going to see how it works. Oh. So I'm basically done. I'm about to set my face and I'm about to actually go out and eat. So I'm going to fix my hair and stuff too. So I'm going to get dressed and I'll be right back and I'm going to actually give you some more information on the palette and also going to introduce you to something else that I'm trying for the first time. So I'll be back. Hi guys, so I'm back fully dressed. Everything is set and on fleek. I like it. Um, my original plan wasn't to do the puff, but the puff works, so <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm glad I showed you guys the unboxing because look how dirty I done got it already <laughs> because I just was making a mess, alright? So, I just wanted to mention a few things. Deca Scarlet is a new subscription service. You pay every other month and you get a new palette every other month. You can also, you have the option to skip a month as well. It's $29.95 and like I told you guys earlier, this is $150 and this, well this is a $150 value in this palette and it goes to $29.95 and I think it's just great. Um, Deca, <laughs> I about to say Deca Carlet. <laughs> Deck of Scarlet collabs with YouTubers every other month and they release new palettes. The first palette, Edition 00, was made in collaboration with Kelly Strack. Um, I personally never heard of her until Decca Scarlet contacted me, so I'm going to have to go check out her channel and see how she does. But I have heard of Sandra Deluxe, and this is the Edition 0, so I'm super excited to have my hands on this one because I do, like I said, I watch Sandra Deluxe, and I love her videos. It's $29.95 every other month, and you can use this one palette right here with these three eyeshadows, two cheek colors, and two lip gloss or lipsticks, and two pencils, eye pencil, and lip pencil, and you can create multiple different looks. Um, I don't really know how many looks I can get out of this, but I do see a few options that I could do with my face. The palette, every palette that they make is 100% cruelty free and paraben free, also made here in the United States, so that's a plus, because a lot of things that we see nowadays are made... Oh, I'm going to say this, <laughs> a lot of things I have says made in China, so to have something made in the U.S. is pretty good. If you missed the first palette or, for example, you missed this palette, you also have the option to buy it online so it doesn't just go away, you know, after a certain amount of time, so that's a plus as well. I think if you're just starting out in makeup that this will be a perfect subscription for you because, like I said, you'll get many looks in one palette and then you can also check out the person because they collab with top YouTubers so you can check out that YouTuber and see how they do their makeup and they're also going to have um, a tutorial on how they use their own palette so that's a plus because you're learning how to do makeup and then you're getting the exact makeup that your favorite YouTuber or a top YouTuber is using in the moment or at the moment um, is using in the moment or at the moment so I think that's pretty good 
Um, what else did I want to mention? Also, for $29.95 a month, I think that this is good because you're basically getting high-end makeup for a really good price. $30 every two months. It might be a lot for some people, but I think a lot of people can manage that. Um, and you don't have to get a palette every single time it comes out. If you don't like the colors that you see is going to be in the next palette, you don't have to get it. If I didn't mention, this is the January-February palette. Um... Hence, I'm doing this video in January. So, um, yeah, you don't have to get every palette. You do have the option to skip a month, which is like most subscription services. I know that they're becoming really popular now, but for makeup, I think it's just genius to have a subscription service. So that is my deck of Scarlet review and semi-tutorial on some of the colors in the palette. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys like this look because I'm really loving it. I went and looked in the mirror. I was like, yes. So I'm going to give you guys an outfit view or close up or you know I'm gonna show you guys what I have on I think it's really cute um, now I want to also mention that I am also trying Scentbird for the first time so it just came in this little envelope right here uh, and inside it says hello beautiful and it tells you how to use and how to replace your perfumes and it just has a picture I usually like to collect these little cards and put them up there on my little makeup desk and then it also has the January scent of the month so each month I'm guessing that this will change so here we go $14.95 a month and you have access to over 450 450 you have access to over 450 designer fragrances so I think that is really nice I look I just don't I run out of adjective guys <laughs> I run out of adjectives so I think it's really cool to have access to so many um, perfumes you know perfume can cost you a arm and a leg I was going on I was looking for some Chanel perfume or something like that I don't even remember what one day it was like $80 for like a really small bottle and I was like really that is a lot the most I paid for a perfume or anything like that was like maybe thirty thirty five dollars and that was my Prada perfume but um to have a month supply a 30-day supply of perfume and it's designer fragrances and 450 to choose from uh, I think that's really unique so this is the little tube that it comes in which is perfect it's a perfect size for my makeup bag it's actually shorter than most of my lipsticks and a little bit thicker than a lot of my lip glosses uh, what else perfumes and stuff like that just bust open in my purse but this is pretty secure and like I said you just turn it and it exposes it you can also just pull it out just like that and you have your scent and I have I might mispronounce this but it's Montel Intense Cafe and it smells really good I've never heard of it um, it's something that I would consider getting again and it just went in my mouth but it smells really nice. It's really light, but it's there, like it's present. So I like that. And I am about to go out, which is why I'm spraying myself. And you just insert it back in and try not to spray yourself while you're doing it. And hopefully I put it in correctly. And just tuck it away and put it in my purse. Case comes free with your first subscription. As soon as you sign up, you get your case for free. Um, which is, and actually I think they just started doing different colors because I've seen a lot of um, Scentbird or videos that included Scentbird and it wasn't, I think it was black if I'm not mistaken or white. I don't remember but um, they actually have red now so I told her my own favorite color was red so I'm happy to have my red and I feel like I'm a little shiny from the perfume but I am getting into perfumes and stuff like that now so yeah this is a pretty unique thing to have and I'm just going to throw it in my purse and I'm going out right now so I'll talk to you guys later it's about 9 o'clock and I'm going to show you my outfit and I will again talk to you guys later